want to uh, offer a word of welcome to those of you in attendance here uh, in our sanctuary at First United Methodist Church, as well as a word of welcome to anyone joining us uh, on our live stream. Uh, so in addition to the word of welcome, I also want to express our appreciation to Keith Cox, uh, who has put together this opportunity for us to worship together through music as well as our uh, wonderful choir, and our handbell choir, and our uh, guest uh, vocalists that are joining uh, with them today. Uh, it is a special day, special time of year. I know you will be blessed as we uh, worship the Lord together this afternoon through music.
From the Gospel of Luke, the 21st chapter, verses 25 through 36. And it reads, There will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and on the earth, distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Then he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. And so also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all of these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. And be on guard so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of this life, and that day catch you unexpectedly like a trap. For it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole entire earth. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all of these things, that it will take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
you to join me in affirming our faith together by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven 
and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Anticipate your return and celebrate the incarnation. May we be blessed with the obedience of Mary, the conviction of truth like John the Baptist and the righteousness of Joseph. Each of these is unattainable under our own power. It is only by your grace that your will for us is fulfilled. And it is with joy, peace, hope, and love that we celebrate and anticipate your blessed arrival. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Thank you.